Hello, my name is Adani Raphael with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to configure remote system logging on the Avaya EIS 3500. There are many advantages for configuring remote system logging. You may want to have your logs in a centralized, dedicated syslog server for security and backup purposes. For troubleshooting purposes, you might want to create a temporary logging on another server. You can enable up to two syslog servers on the EIS 3500. We'll go through these steps to configure remote system logging on the EIS 3500. First, we we'll log into the system with the rewrite privilege using the RW user account and password. Then, we enter the privilege exec mode and the global configuration mode using commands enable, then conf t. To specify the remote syslog server IP address, we'll use the command logging remote address followed by the IP address, which can be IPv4 address or IPv6 address. The IPv6 address is a character string of up to 45 characters. We will enable logging for all events with the command logging remote level informational. Then we will enable the remote system logging with command logging remote enable. After that, we will verify the remote logging configuration using the command show logging config. At the login screen, I'm logging in to the EIS 3500 with the rewrite login privilege. At the command prompt, we enter the privilege exec mode with command enable. Then we enter the global configuration mode with command conf t. We specify the syslog server IP address using command login remote address followed by the IP address of the server. Then, to enable logging of all of the events, we will use the command logging remote level informational. Informational indicates that the critical, serious, and informational events will all be logged. Then, we enable remote logging using the command logging remote enable. Then, we use the command show logging config to verify the remote logging configuration. And here is the remote logging enabled. Here is the remote login IP address that we just configured. The event type to log remotely includes all of the events, critical, serious, and informational. As you can see, configuring remote system logging on the EIS 3500 is quick and simple. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.